In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of the atoms here in the hypochlorite ion, ClO minus. The green, that's the chlorine, and the red is the oxygen. So we use these general rules here to help guide our work. As we go down, we can see oxygen is almost always minus two, with the exception of a few cases. So let's put our minus two here for our oxygen. And then looking underneath that, chlorine, which is in group 17, it has a negative one oxidation number, except when it's bonded to certain elements. And one of them is the oxygen here. So we really can't use this rule to figure out the oxidation number of the chlorine. What we can do though, is when we have an ion, you know, plus or minus here, we have all the oxidation numbers adding up to be the charge on the ion. So the hypochlorite ion has a negative charge, a negative one charge. So think of it this way. We have a minus two here, plus some number is going to equal the charge on the ion, which is negative one. So minus two plus a positive one, that would equal minus one. That means the oxidation number here for the chlorine, that should be plus one. And if we add these up, we get the minus one, which is the charge on the entire ion. So to recap, we found the oxidation number for the elements we knew, the oxygen here, and then we use that information along with the charge on the total ion to figure out the oxidation number for the element we didn't know, the chlorine. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each of the atoms here in ClO minus hypochlorate. Thanks for watching.